What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. And today, <clears throat> I thought I would drop some good news on you. I mean, normally when you see people doing videos and you look on the news, you see a lot of bad news articles being put up and a lot of negative things being put up. And I figure, you know, why not drop some good, I'm sorry, why not drop some great news on you that's happening in that's happening around the, around, the, around the country around the world. So, I just found this article literally about five minutes ago. I'm on Instagram. And I'm scrolling through the timeline thing, and I see this article, and it caught my attention because of the still that was used. And when I read the headline, I said, "Oh, I gotta read. I gotta. I gotta look this up, and you know, and read more about it." So, there's this young man. Um, named Michael Brown, who was who who applied and was accepted to twenty of the best colleges. And not only did he apply, and not only did he get accepted, but he got a full ride and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from all twenty of them. I'm going to say it again. He applied to 20 colleges. Okay? He applied 20 of the best of them. I'm going to read the article. It said 20 of the best colleges in the country. Not only did he apply to 20 of the best colleges in the country, he got accepted to all 20 of the best colleges in the country. Not only did he get accepted to all 20 colleges in the, in the country, he had a full ride and $250,000 from all 20 colleges. 20 of the best colleges. That's absolutely beautiful. First things first, I want to give a round of applause to Michael Brown. Young black kid, starting off great. Love it, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Now I'm going to read the article. I'm looking here on uh, CNN.com, uh, <clears throat> and the headline reads, He applied to 20 of the best colleges and got a full ride to all of them. That's the title, okay? This article is by Isabella Gomez and Christina Z Zdanowick from CNN. Uh, let's see. Read this. And so it's still under the under the caption under the uh, picture it says Michael Brown celebrated his acceptance to Stanford. So he 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 took he accepted Stanford. Okay, that, that's one of the colleges he applied to. He accepted Stanford's offer. Uh, accepted to Stanford with his friends. Okay, now here's the article. Michael Brown stared at the acceptance letter in front of him, and it said it, it said yes. So did the next one, and the other one after that. The seventeen year old. From Houston, applied to 20 of the best universities in the U.S. He was admitted to every single one with a full ride in 260, pardon me, I said 250, 260,000 dollars in additional scholarship offers. My man, 20 grand, that's what I'm talking about. And here's a quote, it says, it's, it's something I'm proud of because I... I see my hard work paying off, determination paying off, and sacrifices paying off. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is something to be proud of. If any, if there was anything to be proud of, it's this. Very good. Very, very good. Let me continue reading. Of those 20, he listed his top eight choices. Harvard, Princeton, Northwestern, Yale University, oh, sorry, Yale University of Pennsylvania, Stanford, Georgetown, and Vanderbilt. Man! Those are some heavy hitters. Let me read those again. Harvard, Princeton, Northwestern, Yale, University of Pennsylvania, Stanford, Georgetown, Vanderbilt. Do you know what it takes to get into just one of those? He had accepted to all of those, plus more. But he, he accepted... um. He accepted, uh, what did I say it again? I say Stanford. What do what, what I get stepped into again? Hold on. He accepted Stanford. Let's see. Currently, a senior at Mirabeau B. Lamar High School, Michael has been heavily involved 
in his school debate schools debate team thinker schools debate team mock trial in student government for years sounds like law that sounds like law stanford law that sounds like law to me mock trials the school debates student government for years that sounds like law and politics we could be looking at we could we could be looking at the future president of the United States. This article right here could be the beginning of the future president of the United States. Pay attention to this name, Michael Brown, from. So where was he from again? Oh, hold on. I knew I knew I was right. Has been heavily involved in the school schools debate team, mock trials, and student government for years. He has also been a vol- he has also volunteered for political campaigns, citing his interest to the moment I saw Barack Obama get elected. See, here's the thing. That part there is key because a lot of people, a lot of older people, were <clears throat> skeptical and all that stuff about Barack Obama being elected, both black and white. There were a lot of people who didn't really get the importance of Barack Obama being in office. A lot of people say, well, you know, he, he just, he's just a puppet. He's just a face. He just, well, okay. Despite people may feel about that. Here's the, here's the most important part. To me, I remember when Barack Obama got elected. To me, the power of that was not the year he got elected. Was, no, 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 no. To me, because you got to think, he's 17. He's 17 now. Barack Obama got elected in 2008, that's 10 years ago. So he was like, he was about, he was, what, 2017, sorry, 2018, I'm sorry, 2018 now. He was 10. So he was so, as a, imagine, him being, well, he's 17 now, I'll say about 10 years. 10 years ago, when he saw someone that looked like him, Become president of the United States. See, as a child, that's very impactful. Now, maybe as an adult, you no. Know, to people who were who were older, when he got first, when uh, Barack Obama first got elected, they may not meant much to him. I mean, to to them, men and women, they may not meant much to no. It may not meant much in two thousand eight to people who were already older. But to a nine, an eight, nine, ten year old black kid, to see. Someone that looked like them become president at eight, nine, ten. That's very impactful. See, two thousand eight was just a seed. Him being elected was the seed being planted for a uh, Michael Brown to grow up seeing this black man be president, and now you have him at seventeen years old. Wanting to do all of these great things, got accepted. Wait a minute, Stanford. Wait a minute, Stanford. Isn't that where Barack Obama went? If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's I think that's the school that Barack Obama went to, Stanford. Uh, correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he said, the moment I saw Barack Obama get elected, that right there triggered it. Because he because once you see something happen. You are now a witness to the experience. You can now claim an experience. And the experience is made even stronger when the person going through the experience looks like you. People always say representation matters. People always say, especially nowadays, representation matters. Well, what do you think that meant to an 8, 9, 10-year-old kid to see a black man that looks like him become president? Representation matters. And now you have a kid applying to 20 different schools, got access to all of them, a full ride, plus $260,000 on an additional. And he chooses Stanford? Bravo. Bravo, Michael Brown. Let me continue. He is set on majoring in political science, but is also considering a second degree in a ga- Yes! But is also considering a second degree in economics. Do you know? How powerful that is. Black people are always talking about putting their dolls together. 
but never talk about the economic planning for money. So you have a 17-year-old black kid wanting to be most likely a lawyer. He didn't say no political, no mock trial, political science. He was probably going to be a lawyer. And think about economics also. So an uh, economic lawyer. I don't know if y'all really understand how powerful that is. An economic lawyer. That's that's deep. That a black kid wanting to deal with law and economics. Two of the biggest things that black people have an issue with. Law and economics. And for a 17-year-old kid to want to do both? Oh, that's magical. That's magical. That's beautiful. All right, let me continue. Uh, the first letter. the first I guess the first letter from um, the colleges. When he received his first acceptance in December, he chose to do it at a friend's house to relieve the pressure of being around his whole family. Yeah, because your whole, your, your whole family, your mama, daddy, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, your grandma, even the family dog will be around you looking at the letter. So, yeah, I, I dig that. The pressure will be crazy. Um, my family had high expectations and maybe didn't realize how competitive the process is, he said. True. But he still invited a the, his biggest supporter to come along, his mom. Of course. Dear mama. Um, Berthenia Rutlig Brown. Filmed as, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's his mom. I'm assuming it's his mom. Filmed as Michael stood in shock by the computer while his friends excitedly rallied around him. Stanford, of course, said yes. After sixth grade, Mike was in control of his education, recalled his proud mother. He was focused. He knew what he wanted and made his own decision. Could it, you know why? Because in the sixth grade, he saw Barack Obama, he saw Barack Obama who called, who come president. Imagine the sixth grade. You seeing that. The sixth grade, he saw Barack Obama become president and knew from that moment, I want to be like him. Jetman, go ahead, Michael Brown, go ahead. A mother's, a mother's dedication. Rutlick Brown, his mother, lost three babies before being... Oh, man. This, 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 this is the backstory of, of his mother. Rutlick Brown lost three babies before becoming pregnant with Michael. So Michael, Michael was that miracle baby. Michael was that messianic miracle baby. Once she finally had a son, she poured all of her energy into giving him the very best that she could, she, she possibly could, like moms do. He only received one B during his entire academic career, which he had, which he said was very difficult for, goal, for a goal getter. Yeah. He took, he, took, he took that B like an F. He took it personal. I like that. On March 28th, opened the last four admission decisions that would mark his 20 school streak. Wow. His mom, who worked two jobs as a licensed medical, as a licensed chemical dispensary counsel, took an afternoon off to be with him. They both still in shock at the cut. Man. Here you go. Urging others to dream big. But he didn't want to talk about his own accomplishments alone. I like that. I like that. He didn't want to talk about his own accomplishments alone. And see? If every... When, you, when, when, when your team wins, you win. For me, it's important to highlight that I'm not the only student of color. Say it again. Say it again. Hold on, I'm going to read it again. For me, it's important to highlight that I'm not the only student of color who is achieving, the teenager noted. My man, 20 grand. Oh, man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm going to stop right here, but this is beautiful. 
this young brother here, we all need to pay attention to this young brother right here. There's a, there's a couple of things that she screamed out to me. One, he said he, he was put on this educational mission the moment he saw Barack Obama uh, become president. Representation matters. Beautiful. Two, he chose the same school. Hold on, let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see. I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check for sure to see if if I'm correct in this. Barack Obama. Um, Barack Obama. Uh, say Barack. I want to make sure I get this correct. I want to see what what schools he went to. Because I don't believe it's a coincidence that he chose Stanford. I don't believe it's a coincidence. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Where did he get his... Okay, no, no. He he went to Columbia and Harvard. Okay. He went to Columbia and Harvard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. But anyway, that's, 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 still, that's still good nonetheless. But he chose Stanford. Very, very good school. He is part of the debate team. He's done mock trials. Um, what else? Political science. That screams law to me. That screams lawyer to me. That might like, 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 a, like a, a, a constitutional lawyer. That screams constitutional lawyer to me. That's what that's, that's what that says to me. Also, is he? It talks about economics, money. Well, I won't say money, but finances, wealth distribution, money. It could be. We could see him at a local municipality, like a councilman, a mayor, or we could be seeing him on the national senator, you know, governor, senator, possibly the president. I, to, the way the way I, the way I'm reading this, I'm thinking president, but okay. Then let's see what else. Then the one thing that that brought to mind is he talked about he mentioned something about his about one students of color. Two, he's talking about his classmates slash friends. It wasn't just about him. He wanted to make sure that his friends got shine also. Now everybody, everybody's clamoring over him. You know, with twenty acceptance letters as you know as it should. But he, it, it made sure to put in the article that he wanted to talk about his classmates' accomplishments. That he didn't want it just to be about him. That spoke a lot to me because. One one of the one of the big you know gripes that we have in the black community is that you know how you always say um, when one black person gets on, it's just all about themselves. They just leave people behind. They don't want you no know, uh, kind of reach back. That's not what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a young a young kid, 17 years old, making a conscious decision to make sure that he mentions an article about him. That it's not just about him. And he said his, his mother, his, his mother unfortunately lost three children prior to him. And he was the child that made it. And she made sure she poured all of her energy, her love, her effort, her spirit into him. And this is what you get. This is what you get. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Ma Ma one more time. One more time for Michael Brown. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Young sir, Michael Brown, if you ever see this video, I want you to know that I am extremely proud of you. Extremely proud of you. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, young man. And I wish... I, 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 want, this, I want this story to be... Post all over the place. I wish you absolute success. I wish the absolute best for you and your family. And, and your classmates. I wish the best for them too. You are on the right path, young man. Keep going. Don't stop. And I'll see you in the White House. Alright? Catch you all later. Peace.